it's that time again. We're out pike fishing on Upper Loch Earn. You know this place. You've seen me fish this place before. I'm looking forward to it with a cup of coffee sitting there. Bits are just put in. Let's get it on. Just then. And we could be off here. I don't feel anything. No, oh, there's something on. Yeah, buddy. Don't feel that big. It's a fish though. What bit's that on? I think this was the, the smelt. No way. Yeah, it's on the smelt. No, he's there. Hold on. He is there. He's not going to be going anywhere with her. Mango, buddy. That's him. I wouldn't lift it up to that net. That just, it just, I'll just hold that there, and I'll, and I'll get another wee trick. Here. Wedge it with your arms, push the button. Alright. And then pull the arms out like that there. And that's it. That's it done. <laughs> Magic now it's caught in the hooks. Go on. Calm down you just chuck that there. Take a picture. It's not that. It's not a. Okay, Healthy enough fish, which is good. And that's why I like the cradle. They can jump and jive all they want, and they ain't going anywhere. It isn't the blank, that is the main thing. I've just put out a pollen on one rod and a smelt. It was a smelt that I got the first pike on. Again, not a, not a big pike, you know, but nice to catch. Healthy, fat, I wouldn't like myself. Fat, dumb and healthy. Healthy-ish. In fact, it's nothing like me because I'm hoping the pike isn't like crippled or fucked. Or having to take large amounts of painkillers just to kind of walk around. But nope, the baits are back in the water. The four rod set up. So we should catch more fish. At least I'm hoping to catch more fish. Cooking with scopes today is going to be a, I'm going to try a bacon burger, cheese, bacon cheeseburger. We've got some Marks and Spencer's bacon. Only the finest. 
So we'll get some of that in a minute. The weather has looks to be kind of cleared up a little bit. This morning it was drizzly as a drizzly thing. So we had to kind of sit with jackets on. And but we arrived just as, just as the dawn broke, so it's interesting to watch the fish life. I mean, the lock itself is very low compared to when it's low. It should be a lot higher. But on the surface, you're seeing a lot of, I'm thinking it's roach and coarse fish topping. It could be trout. There's big trout here. I've had big trout here. But it's just nice to be out. It's only a day session. It's not a weekend there like last weekend. So it's good to have like a nice wooden picnic table. Let's just hope that the, the, the dipshits that roam for mana don't set this one on fire. Such a beautiful place and you end up with dipshits wanting to burn things. I don't understand that. But, and then again, you'd, I suppose you'd have to ask a dipshit why you uh, go to somewhere beautiful and set things on fire. <laughs> I'm not out by myself today. Today I'm accompanied. The uh, responsible adult today is, is Dwayne. He was with us on a previous vlog. score today is, is 1-0 as opposed to the last time we were out, I got beat 2-0. So I want to address some of the comments I've received on YouTube. I had to put filters on YouTube which kind of makes uh, comments with foul language which is ironic for me because like I swear a lot. Comments with foul language goes into like a box that has to be uh, manually reviewed just to weed out the, again, weed out the dipshits. It cracked, it honestly cracked me up. I mean, I had, I had a stream of comments from like a couple of guys. You know, some of the comments were hilarious. It, they ranged from, uh, you're a, a fucking loyalist orange prod super Hitler. And then they ranged from the other way where people were calling me, you know, Fiend and this, that and the other. It's like, wait a minute. I'm thinking, what sort of sad life do these people have that they, they get pleasure from going on YouTube videos and writing shit comments? <laughs> Don't worry, commenters, that are shit commenters. One day, I'm sure you will feel the loving warmth of a woman. Okay, you might have to pay like 20 quid for a crack whore, but I'm sure one day you will feel the warmth of a woman. And then you will realise that you were just an angry prick for no reason. If you're watching this and you're angry right now, give me a thumbs up or a thumbs down. It's cool. <laughs> it really doesn't stop me from sleeping like a baby at night. I even got accused of being a nonce. I'm thinking, <laughs> right? No, you are a nonce. Okay. Weird. Humans. It's been a weird week. We've had uh, a bit of a weird occurrence in England, in Kent. We've had a member of parliament stabbed to death. The media, the media in this country kind of makes me sick at times. It's a strange one now. The, the guy that stabbed this member of parliament to death had been through the government's prevent program allegedly. So they knew he was like a extremist, Islamic extremist. But they allow him to walk about the streets and then he's went into a church a church and stabbed a man to death i think these people deserve uh the death penalty you know i if we can't hang them then I, they should be getting life in jail with no chance of getting out of jail I'm just wondering how many more of these do we have to, uh, to have to have in this country before we kind of say, okay, we're sick of this shit now. But it's weird how you never get the Hare Krishnas stabbing people in the streets or the Buddhists. 
you never seem to get the uh, the Hindus running amok, stabbing each other, st stabbing each other in the streets. It seems to be one religion of peace that seems to be super keen to to either turn themselves into flying mints or drive trucks into crowds or stab members of parliament to death. Religion. I treat religion like I treat a penis. It's okay to have a penis. It's okay to be proud of your penis. It's okay to love your penis. But it's not okay to whip it out in public and wiggle it around. And it's not okay to force it down people's throats. And it's never okay to show it to children. That's how I view religion. But I'm going to make another brew and then it'll be cooking with scopes time. 20 minutes later. Cooking with scopes. We're going to have a bacon cheeseburger. Only the finest Marks and Spencer's bacon. Hopefully I won't have to fucking use the thing to swat away wasps today. Or as Dwayne's dog calls them, uh, sky jalapenos. Yeah. Sky raisins. Spicy. Spicy raisins. Spicy raisins. <laughs> no! Oh, 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 thank <laughs> Christ for that. Whoa! <laughs> <laughs> I near fucking lost the breakfast there. I was going to almost cry. Yeah, we're going to downgrade the, the bacon cheeseburger. Yeah, to just burgers. <laughs> that was a no. That was a fucking dodgy one. Right, no more of that shit. Let's behave. While that bacon's kind of cooking, that's the steak burgers we're going to be having today. They are from a local butcher. I try to shop for all my meat from local butchers. I don't like buying stuff from like the likes of, you know, Asda's and stuff like that there. He says that whilst noticing the contradiction that I'm using Marks and Spencer's fucking bacon. Anyway. Gotta test the tongs work. Everyone has to test the tongs. I've ordered a new frying pan. I've ordered a new, it's a tracker one. It's one of those uh, marble ones that's meant to be pretty good. I'm still getting abuse from last week for the uh, cremation of sausages. That was in my breakfast burrito. I don't really mind, with enough Tabasco sauce everything's better. So bacon, then burger, then cheese, then either barbecue sauce or Tabasco sauce. Either way, it's a winner. More moments later. The whole problem with the, 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 the Coleman stove is it's that fucking dangerous. It burns that quick. So you have to be super careful cooking on it.
Doesn't it look good? Just then. Yeah. Put a bit of a fight. I think I've got cheese all over my beard, man. Probably. I love it. Uh -huh. Well, whatever you had on the bait is gone. That's the mackerel. That's the mackerel. Top of the smokiness, too. I think, I think I might weigh this one. There's no rush. Yeah, buddy. Yeah, if you made a nose dive for the pier. Yeah, yeah, keep him out of there. Yeah, don't, sure you don't, I don't, don't want him in there. I think that's a double. It's not far off, I don't think I know. I think so. I think that is a double. You've sacrificed your burger. Thank you. Yeah. Right, do you want to unclip that there for me? I would say it's for 12, I think. Maybe 12 or 13 yeah. pounds.
You can do me a favour and pull this truss out of it, but yep. just just hold it tight there till yep. I get underneath there and get us unhooked. Pull it up a bit. It's okay. It's okay. Now it's got the net. <laughs> Yeah. The other one's in the side of his gills. Hopefully I'll get that out. I'll get that out of here. There we go. Pull. There we go. Right. Ah, perfect boy. Right, I'm gonna put him in this waist and this sling just let him get his breath back. Then we'll weigh him. This is where you always kind of clip the fuckers together because the there can be Houdini and open the fucking. Right, right, I need to clip this, this onto this. Just set them in there. Brioche buns. Only the finest. You take your burger. Your couple of slices of nice crispy bacon. Your cheese. And the sauce. There you go. Cooking with scobes. You tell me you wouldn't eat that. Photographs of her with you. <laughs> She's gonna be lively as fuck now. Yeah. She's gonna kind of remember me. Remember the fight I just put up. Well, this is this is why we, we let them yeah. let them rest a wee bit so they're good to go. Yeah, healthy looking fish, man. Mm -hmm. Now put her on the back of the water just. Yeah, it's nice and healthy. Oh, aye. Right. No real marks on her either. There's no marks on her? Yeah. I'll just let you yep. slip her onto the side here. Okay.
There we go. That's off. That's off. I'm okay. Didn't feel a big fish, but it's off. Yeah. What was that on the perch or the? That was on the mackerel. That's what I got the leopard for. I'll give another mackerel a go. Yeah. I don't think it was a big fish, just think it just because you're it's just you're like really out there. Too hard there either. No, it's just one of those one of those little ones. This one here? Yeah, that'll do. Cheers. on the bottom Oh well. Ah, not been a bad day so far. Two fish, one fish each, and a dropped one each. The boats, the, boat, the anglers in the boats seem to have disappeared, which is good. Still plenty of time for more bites. Oh! I want to do a big shout out and a big birthday wish to Jack who's just turned seven. He watches the uh, the vlogs. I've got something in the post for you young Jack there. Just a happy birthday and glad you like watching the videos. Two hours later. The end of another day. We caught fish. We had dropped runs. We ate well. And it was all good. It's time to drive home now. I got it. Nope. These aren't the jeans that have the hole. These aren't the jogging bottoms that have the hole in them. I thought I was going to traumatize you there by like having a ball or something hanging out. Aren't you lucky? I put on the right ones in the dark this morning. Anyway, until next time, guys and girls. Oh, and. Uh, I got a call, I didn't get a call, I got uh, a big hello from some new viewers uh, from Norway, so I don't know what the Norwegian is for thumbs up and I hope you have a good day, but uh, well done, thumbs up. I had some guys from France and from Belgium, again, I'm sorry but my French goes for uh, the length of ordering booze, ordering food and a lady of questionable morals that I would have used whilst I was a single human being and not a married man and a couple of Americans to the Americans you have my deepest sympathy for having the uh, the awesome commander-in-chief that you have right now he's even more of a fuck up than the one you had the last time how did you just manage that till next time guys tight lines